Tourism and trade are increasing the risk of exotic pests being transported around the globe. Airports, seaports and tourism hotspots are high risk entry points for pests. Agromyzid flies are one such group of agricultural pests that are now found in many parts of the world. This includes the vegetable leaf miner, which is a recent arrival to Australian shores. Between 2008 and 2015, the vegetable leaf miner was detected on multiple islands in the Torres Strait by the Northern Australia Quarantine Strategy. In 2015, the vegetable leaf miner was found on Cape York Peninsula, the most northerly point of the Australian mainland, with the help of surveillance activities by Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. This is a concern because the leaf miner can have a dramatic impact on plant health. Eggs are laid just beneath the leafal stem surface and hatch about three days later. Once hatched, larvae tunnel inside the leaf, creating silvery spiralling tracks. These leaf mines damage photosynthetic tissue, restricting plant growth. Once enough plant is consumed, larvae develop into pupae and emerge as an adult leaf miner. Adult vegetable leaf miner are about 1 to 2 millimetres in length, and their most striking features are the areas of bright yellow cuticle on the head, upper and lower body. The vegetable leaf miner is polyphagous, which means the most horticultural crops are on the menu. It will eat most vegetables and even some ornamental flowering plants that you can pick up at your local nursery, such as snapdragon and petunia. The leaf miner diet may also extend to other crops that are not currently listed as a host. So, what does this all mean and what's at stake? Australian horticulture is currently valued at $9 billion. When we find a new pest in Australia, the economic damage to production industries can be catastrophic. Farmers can experience trade bans, production losses and quarantine. This means that fresh produce doesn't reach store shelves or the cost is increased. Home gardens could also be impacted. Everybody loses. So, what are we doing about it? The vegetable industry and the nursery and garden industry encompass many horticultural commodities that may be impacted by the vegetable leaf miner. Recognising the potential impact of this pest, the grower-owned Research and Development Corporation, Hort Innovation, recently launched a program for control, eradication and preparedness for the vegetable leaf miner. This project is all about being prepared and it brings together research groups, governments and industry bodies. Project partners will figure out the best methods of trapping for vegetable leaf miner, investigate how the leaf miner is spreading to Australia and model where the pest may spread in future. The project will result in a contingency plan that will guide industry and government in a plan of action if the pest is found in production zones. It will also develop a management plan that will be structured around an integrated pest management approach. These research initiatives will enable extension activities to be directed towards at-risk production zones. By becoming acquainted with this exotic pest now and raising awareness about the vegetable leaf miner with growers, councils and the public, we will slow its spread. Australia is renowned for producing high quality fresh produce and nursery stock. To keep it that way, we need to stay vigilant. Vegetable leaf miner damage may be confused with that of the cabbage leaf miner or chrysanthemum leaf miner. You are likely to be alerted to vegetable leaf miner damage if leaf mining is observed on a diversity of plants. All Australians have a biosecurity responsibility. Suspect detections should be reported to the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. Together, we can minimise the impact of vegetable leaf miner in Australia. For more information, contact Ausveg at info at This project is a collaboration between CESA, the University of Melbourne, Plant Health Australia, the Northern Australia Quarantine Strategy and Ausveg.